Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. In today's video, I will be showing you how to analyze a time domain signal in frequency domain by using MATLAB. It seems very straightforward to analyze a signal in frequency domain by using MATLAB built-in command FFT or Fast Fourier Transform. But most of the people don't know how to know the exact continuous time frequency corresponding to a time domain signal because when we plot the absolute or magnitude response of FFT, the x-axis is in terms of samples. So what is the relationship between those samples and frequency? I will show you in this particular video. But before, let us plot the frequency response of a simple sine wave by using FFT. To plot a sine wave, let us define its frequency. And for example, it is 50 Hertz. Sampling frequency is, let's say, 500 Hertz. And the number of samples that we are going to plot is 1000. Now, we will define sine wave by using this command. It is 2 pi f divided by fs and multiplied by the time <coughs> which will be from 0 to n minus 1. First of all, we will plot it in time domain. So here it is plot x and you can see it is a sine wave of that particular frequency. Now for frequency domain, we will use MATLAB built-in command FFT and plot it directly the magnitude response ABS for absolute and FFT of the same signal X. So you see here is the FFT of that particular signal but on the x-axis you should note that the x-axis is starting from 0 and it is going up to 1000 which is the total number of samples. So how would I know that what is the frequency corresponding to this particular peak and of course this is the counterpart of this peak. So I will show you how to convert the axis into continuous time frequency so that you may be able to know the corresponding frequency in Hertz. To do this, you need to know the particular relationship between the frequency and those samples. The frequency is given by the DTFT or omega, which is 2 pi f over fs, where f is the continuous time frequency that we are going to know and that we are going to find and fs is the sampling frequency. It is the same sampling frequency uh, with which we have plotted the particular signal. Similarly, on the right hand side, it is DFT, discrete Fourier transform, because FFT is basically computing DFT. So it is a tool to compute DFT. It does not give us directly the discrete time Fourier transform. Anyways, this K is the running index from 0 to n minus 1. <laughs> And this n is the total number of samples. From this particular relationship, this 2 pi will be cancelled out. And here you can find simply the continuous time frequency in hertz given by k times fs divided by n. So it means that we need to plot this frequency on x-axis, this relationship. So let us do it in MATLAB. So here we define the axis, f axis by using the relationship uh, shown in the document it is k so where k will be from 0 to n minus 1 so here it is 0 to n minus 1 it is a vector and the other two quantities are scalar fs we have already defined and divided by n so this is our f underscore axis now we will plot the same fft magnitude response but by using this Define axis as the x axis. Rest the command remains the same. Now, if you run this, you will see a similar kind of plot with the same peaks, but you should note the difference on the x axis here. You see it is starting from 0 and it will go up to fs. By using DSP theory, you should know that it will go from 0 to fs. And you should note the location of this peak, it is 50 Hertz. It is the same as the frequency of the sine wave. So by using this command uh, in the axis of the uh, plot command, 
you can simply know what is the corresponding continuous time frequency of a particular signal. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel, Electrical Lectures.